morning everybody morning i'm gonna get my shoes on here gotta go outside do the walk around check old blue make sure there's nothing wrong make sure she had a good sleep i had a really good sleep i'm actually feeling pretty good it's pretty cold outside not as cold as it has been it's minus 21 celsius right outside my windows i've had my bunk heater going all night so i'm good and warm inside the truck my engine heater has now been warming up my engine for about an hour and 45 minutes so i'm gonna jump out open the hood check the oil check everything else make sure that it's ready to turn over I'm gonna turn it over get her started hopefully she starts oh you will i don't doubt you don't worry you'll look get everything warmed up moving get myself woken up grab a coffee have breakfast and in an hour i want to be rolling out of here I'm in St. Gaff, Manitoba. I've got to get to a town called Garson, Manitoba, which is just northeast of Winnipeg. I have this big cylinder on the back of my truck. It's a little bit oversized, it's about eight foot six wide, about three inches over on each side, it's not that big. They're gonna unload that with a crane at 10.30. And the time is now a quarter after eight, and it's an hour drive to get there. So I figure if I leave here, oh, 45 minutes to an hour, I'll be there nine o'clock. No, I'll be there 10 o'clock, 10, 15, get that crane to offload me and then uh, that's the plan for today. All right, let's get the day going. Shoes are cold, shoes are cold. <laughs> my bunk heater has been warming up the cab, but this was underneath, uh, I guess my bag or whatever. So no warm air was getting to my shoes. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Cold feet, all right, cold. Not that kind of cold feet though. I'm not getting cold feet for the day, I'm ready for the day. We're gonna take this day on. We're gonna make this day ours, belongs to me. It's gonna be a good day. Yeah, it's definitely cold outside, it's definitely cold. Everything's good, everything looks good. Let's, uh, let's wake the truck up. Give it a second here, let it cycle through. Okay, all blue. Now's your time to shine. Temperature here says only minus 17. Okay, not bad. Here we go. There you are. All right, everyone. The time has come. It is time. Buckle ourselves in so we don't fall out. Lights on. Window cracked. I like my fresh air. CB on. GPS set, GPS double checked, so I know it's not gonna lead me down some dark alley where it would do unspeakable things. Now I just got to double check my visual check that my trailer's coming with me. Like those brakes, that trailer is attached. The brakes work, the brakes release. Oh, it's a good day. It's a good day. All right, let's get out of here. All right, let's try not to drag our trailer over this curb here. I parked myself right up against it. Stay out of everybody's way. All right, 
beacons on. You hear that sound? Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a good day. Another way you could tell that it's gonna be a good day is by the way that it smells outside. It smells like burning diesel fuel. Oh, you always know it's gonna be a good day when you wake up and smell that when you get out of the truck. You don't wanna smell that inside the truck. The ultimate way you can tell it's going to be a good day is when you hear this. Whew. That's a chorus of angels right there. What did you say, Karen? I wasn't listening. Turn left. I know where I'm going. Why are you telling me where to go? Silly when they put stop signs in the median. Should be a yield sign in my unprofessional opinion. This is St. Norbert, Manitoba. It's uh, I guess you call it a suburb of Winnipeg. It's just on the southwest side. St. Nobel, a little French community, but everyone speaks English. I'm told to go down this road and I will see the cranes. He said cranes plural. I wonder if there's more than one. That'd make me feel so important. Wow. Two grains just for me? I'm not too sure how far down here, but it is on this road. I just talked to the guy. I'm very, very close. are either. I would assume they would be you know, above the trees. He said they'd be pretty obvious.
There's the blocks on the right. Come on, where are you? tell me where they want me. I might need to back in there. They're just setting up the second crane right down there. This one's gonna lift up this side, that's gonna lift up that side. We're gonna be uh, be out of here. Not every delivery is this exciting. Two big cranes just for me it makes me feel kind of special, you know. So I've got the chains off in the front, but I've left the chains on at the back. There's still four chains just holding it on. It's on the saddles on the trailer, so it's not going anywhere. But you know, just until they get it all rigged up, I'm gonna leave those chains on. Get these saddles down here. This whole tank is 38,500 pounds. They're standing it up, and then they're gonna move it out of my way, and I'm gonna back out of here. That is cool. It's definitely not every day I get to do a delivery like this. I told them I don't want to be the reason for the next safety meeting. So once they get it moved out of the way, and stood up like they have now, I'm going to move it out of the way. And then the guy in the yellow jacket right there, he's going to tell me to back out. And I'm going to back out right into here. I'm going to nose in there. And then they're going to guide me and spot me out onto the road over there. Pretty neat, eh? I've been around trucks my whole life, and this still just is super exciting for me. Now to back out of here. Job complete. Got a compliment from the customer there. For a job well done and being on time. Nice. Now we are on our way to Kenora. Doing another rounder. I'm gonna pick up a load of lumber there, take it down to Brainerd, I believe, and then, at least I think that's where it's going. And then we'll see what we got uh, for a load back home after that. So I'm up near Bozager. I'm gonna take Highway 12 south down to Highway 1, which will shoot me towards Kenora.
these are snowmobile highways or you have to buy a snow pass to use them when i was younger it was 60 bucks a year now i'm guessing it's probably double or triple that but i don't have a snowmobile right now i guess i don't know i'm gonna keep the same triaxle trailer and just go straight to kenora Right behind this lovely truck is Wally World. You'll just have to trust me. I'm in Fort Francis, Ontario. I have another load of lumber behind me. I've got it tarped and I'm heading into Minnesota. I just stopped here to make sure all my paperwork is all in order. Everything is good. I double checked to make sure my customs clearance was done and that I am cleared to cross. I am. Made sure I have my ID just now close by we're gonna try to get down to Deer River again tonight sleep there again and then tomorrow go the rest of the way down to uh, Brainerd and I might be going home empty from there or I might have a reload we'll see either way I have to go home tomorrow getting tired so I'm not getting any closer to Deer River sitting here let's get back out there we are in the river of deers better known as Deer River, Minnesota. That's where we're gonna pull in for the night. I really hope that there's a spot for us. They only have five. Last time we were here, there was no one, just me. That was kind of nice. So tomorrow we're gonna go that way. Today we're gonna go that way. facing this way. Well, it's like nobody's here again. There's a drop trailer there though. That doesn't count as somebody. I'm glad when there's parking, right? Like, don't get me wrong, but I, I sometimes I start to worry. I'm like, why is no one else parking here, you know? Is there a, are we not supposed to park here? No, it is parking, I've checked. It's a narrow little street. I guess it's such a small community, it's off the beaten path. There's not much truck traffic coming through here, right?
inside this trailer. there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Good job, old blue. Another day is done. Let's go do our post trip and make sure nothing fell off. Great news, nothing fell off. It's a good day, told you it was gonna be a good day. You didn't believe me. Never had anything fall off yet that I know of. <laughs> Truck is all good, uh, ready to go for tomorrow. Again, we'll double check everything on the pre-trip again tomorrow, make sure that it's all set and good to go. We'll be out of here pretty early. Uh, let's see here. You have zero hours and 41 minutes of remaining drive time. So I had 41 minutes left on my clock. Not quite enough to get to where I was going. I need about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half. And uh, 41 minutes is not going to cut it, so here we stay. I'm going to go back there. Clean up a little bit. Crawl under that nice warm blanket, turn on my bunk heater. It's not that cold out today. I think it's like minus three Celsius, like uh, probably high 30s in Fahrenheit. Ugh. Oh man, I'm gonna hit that pillow and I bet you I will be sleeping before my face even touches it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be grand. Lock myself in so I don't escape. Thanks for joining me today, everybody. It was an exciting day. Those two cranes this morning, right? That was pretty cool. That was a special day. That doesn't happen all the time. Uh, that felt very special. Two cranes. So that was fun. Got that uh, delivered. We got some compliments there from the guys where we delivered to. Uh, they were glad that we were there in a timely fashion, right on schedule, and that uh, everything was done very professionally. I like hearing that uh, from the places we deliver to. Yeah. Feels good to get a compliment every now and then. Just to sort of reassure yourself that, hey, good, I am doing a good job. You know, we try to do a good job, but if no one ever says, hey, you did a good job, sometimes you start questioning yourself, like, am I really doing a good job? <laughs> At the same time, you don't want to like fish for compliments, but when one is given, it is appreciated. I'll see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel here. There's over 125,000 subscribers now. That's a pretty cool landmark. That's awesome. Or milestone, landmark, milestone. Time to go to bed, Josh. See you tomorrow. Take care.